people who find this stuff profound. I don't want to be around them. To be fair, he means women. <laughs> He's saying he does not want to be around women in general. <laughs> All right, well, I'll be negatively polarized in the loving Taylor Swift unconditionally now that Ben Shapiro has decided that the new album is Garbaggio. It's a Friday, Let's so go. it's time to deep More f takes like this, baby. Let's go. We won the Swifties back. The coalition is still intact. Deconstruct some culture. Taylor Swift's new album is here. People are really excited. It's called The Tortured Poets Department, which is so tiresome. Oh, can we stop pretending that she's high art? Please, please. The Tortured Poets. Yes, she's tortured. She's so tortured. She's so tortured that she's worth billions of dollars for singing songs that are most appropriately sung by 16 and 17 year old girls as a 34 year old woman who's childless and unmarried. It's so boring. Oh my God. Wait, what? Childless and unmarried? What the f? Wait. 34 year old woman who's childless and unmarried. It's so boring. It's so boring. Bro, if you say childless and unmarried 34-year-old woman, you should just be banned from talking about popular culture. No, I'm serious. Like, what the f kind of gross bullshit is this? A person who says, you're a 34-year-old woman who's childless and unmarried should have no business talking about popular culture. You've already given your position away. You're some f***ing freak, dude. Oh my God, Charlie Kirk ranted about Taylor's eggs. She's nasty. No, She's was, ugly. I, 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 nobody really, likes her. She the, looks the like nobody likes her. She looks like a teenage boy. After like, morning after like dudes morning. don't like her. No. Like, if you put her in front <laughs> of, like, she's ugly. That's true. Yeah, yeah. Is, does Taylor Swift have any eggs left? Well, I don't think she probably, probably I don't know if she had it to start. People really shouldn't be so comfortable saying stuff. I, I'm serious. That's crazy. They beat us on at the misogyny game. Yeah. Tortured. Right, oh, how about like a little maturity at some point here? Every time I hear artists like Taylor Swift, the tortured poets department, all I can think of is people who are actually tortured around the world. I feel like there's that, there's a very, one, one of my favorite headlines from the onion years ago. It was a point counterpoint. They used to have a, a column that was point counterpoint. And the point was a little American girl, 10, 11 years old saying, I'm starving. And the whole article was about how she was really hungry after getting home from school. And the other one was a Somali kid saying, I'm starving because they were literally starving. That's how I feel about Taylor Swift and her tortured poets department nonsense. So she has put up a poetic. Yeah, bro. No one can use the word torture unless they're in, in Guantanamo Bay, in which case Ben doesn't think that's torture. That's enhanced interrogation and totally valid. It's wild, bro. What are you saying? Like, yeah, he. Yeah, she's embellishing, like, Jesus Christ. I mean, the first line about it being like, what are you actually tortured by is a decent thing. Like, it's like, you can make a criticism like that. You could be like, oh, you're exaggerating your conditions. But he has to be, like, hyper-realistic with it. Like, he has to be a hyper-literalist. Ah, ah, torture? Well, there are real torturers and real people being tortured in the world. I can't believe she called herself a tortured poet. Post about the album. And uh, here is what the Poetica Post says. Quote, the tortured poets department and soft focus, soft focus picture of Taylor Swift. And then one of her lying on the bed and then one of her standing in fashion. And oh my God, wow, she does look tortured. She looks, oh wow. The tortured poets department, an anthology of new works that reflect events, opinions, and sentiments from a fleeting and fatalistic moment in time. One that was both sensational and sorrowful in equal measure. Uh, there are 31 songs. 31? Okay, to be fair, that was my reaction. Why? As well. Why 31 songs? 31 songs? What the hell? That is a normal reaction. This period of the of author's songs. life is now over. The chapter closed and boarded up. Well, no, it is. That part is not even false. That is a normal reaction to that many songs. That's a lot of songs. Too many songs. Because now you're just spilling your guts about it. You got to hear about how you dated a bunch of other guys that you ended up marrying. Well, yeah, good for you, lady. There is nothing to avenge. No scores to settle once wounds have healed. And upon further reflection, a good number of them turned out to be self-inflicted. This writer is of the firm belief that our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. Uh, people who find this stuff profound, I don't want to be around them. Our tears become holy in the form of ink on a page. To be fair, he means women. <laughs> He's saying he does not want to be around women in general, which...
even if you have a take there, you just arrived at it with the wrong with the wrong analysis. And then all that's left behind is the tortured poetry. The tortured poets department is out now. I just want to vomit. I just it's so you didn't suffer. Stop pretending that you've experienced real suffering because you dated a bunch of guys you didn't marry. Real suffering. You, you, you seem like to, absolute tortured, like really tortured. This sort of stuff gets at me. It, it gets at me because stop, stop being such a whiny pain in the ass. Like seriously. In the words of, of, of Arnold Schwarzenegger, stop whining. And why are you so whiny all the, the time? I know people who have, who have experienced actual real tragedy. Bro, this is a real J. Cole saying your album was boring to Kendrick moment. Okay. This is a real Drake saying uh, you made pop songs with Taylor Swift to Kendrick Lamar moment. It's pot calling the kettle black. You can't be talking about whining. You're whining about a f music album. Why are you whining all the time? <laughs> There's real things to whine about, like women having bodily autonomy in blue states. <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> Actual real torture. There are people in the world who have kids who have cancer and those kids die. That's a real. Then you get to talk about torture. You are not tortured because you went out with a boy and then he was mean to you and you couldn't communicate properly and then you broke up and then you went on your private jet. You're not tortured. Okay, okay, okay. God, this is so shallow. Like, dude, yeah, I get it. Like, Taylor Swift is rich. <laughs> like, she's also a musician. <laughs> like, what do you mean? If you become a commercially successful musician, you should never make music ever again. Because after all, you're rich. You're a commercially successful musician. Shut the f*** up. <laughs> it's such a weird f***ing take. <laughs> like, what is happening here? You can still have feelings, even if you're rich. You know what I mean? Why does he act like he's this guy who doesn't love wealth and, and being wealthy and love the wealthy and defend their interests all the f***ing time? It's such a weird take like bro I, you know as a left wing person as a leftist i still do think that like you know rich people get sad too sure maybe they wipe their tears with hundred dollar bills and shit but like fine you can still make music <laughs> what the f and 17 year old girls who are being taught to act like you can still have feelings even if you are rich a rich person yes I should know because I too have private jets, multiple of them, and I fly with them all the time when I feel sad. And then it doesn't make me feel happy when I fly in my private jets, my sad private jet. Plus, ridiculous, emotionally self involved, puerile brats like this. Ugh, I hate this crap. I really, really hate it. And I haven't even heard it yet. I don't even know if the music is good or anything. I don't know. You know, it's. I'm sure there will be four chords because that's all she can play on the guitar. And um, four on the floor. Speaking of literal torture, this is the definition of literal torture. Yeah. Wow, Ben, I can't believe you said you were literally tortured watching that clip. Or kick drum and all the rest. So, wow, just uh, tortured post apartment. She's so deep, guys. She's so deep. Or maybe she's the shallowest person you've ever heard of in your entire life. She is a cheerleader who is dating the high school quarterback in front of everyone, and she's worth billions of dollars and flies around on private jets and sells you her support. Why does he read as jealous? <laughs> Am I crazy? Is he kind of jelly here? Like, he sounds like a fucking angry incel who's mad he's not the cheerleader dating the quarterback worth a billion dollars. That's weird, man. Posed tears. Uh, do not like. Anti. We'll get to more on this in just a moment. First, finding that perfect. Oh my God. Okay, dude. Come on. Come on. Come on. The, tra the, the Joker one was overrated. Oh, this is it. That's all the. That's all he said about Taylor Swift. And then he moves on to other pop culture shit. Yo, I can't wait for Brett Cooper's analysis on this. She's about to pop off, dude. She's about to mother pop off, baby. Anyway, is today opposite day Ben critiquing rich people while you defend them? Yes, dude. Ben Shapiro is critiquing rich people. Thank you. That's what happened here. Some of you literally, I think, got the John Fetterman brain problem, and that's how you arrived at leftism. Like, you got bludgeoned in the head with a shovel too many times, and you're like, oh, I think I'm a leftist now. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Criticizing I'm rich people is when you also 
and she's gonna cook Ben. Her video, 26,000 views in two hours. Ben's video, seven hours ago, only 46,000 views. Brett Cooper, Femme Shabibo, is unironically lapping Ben Shabibo. So if you guys watch the show regularly, you know that in terms of relationship, there is one thing that really irks me basically above all else, and that is wasting somebody's time, especially when you are wasting that person's time intentionally. I mean, at this rate, we just talk about it constantly. Like if I can encourage you to do one thing in your personal life, it would be to know that your time and energy is not repl- Is not repl- <laughs> Your white jackets are also not replaceable. That your time and energy is not replaceable. You can get everything else back. You can make more money. You can buy new things. I feel like I say this constantly, which I do. She's so funny. She's so quirky and funny <laughs> and real. No, she's not actually streaming. It's fake. And this really comes out in romantic relationships, especially when one partner wants to move the relationship forward, usually towards marriage, and the other doesn't. And at some point, something's got to give. Otherwise, you are wasting your irreplaceable time and you run the risk of falling into the forever girlfriend trap. Now we talked about this term just a couple of weeks ago. It was a term that I had not used before, even though I talk about this constantly, but we have done many episodes about this subject. They'll be in the description below if you want more context. But the reason why I'm bringing it up yet again is because of a new Taylor Swift song. I just heard all the men groan from the audience. I know, I'm sorry, but we have to talk about it because it is more evident than ever. Brother, I cannot believe that this channel now Welcome has back to 4 the million subscribers. All of our videos go f nutty mode like it's crazy the hypocritical philosophy of the fresh and fit podcast situationships suck she's like giving f dating advice even though she's basically a fetus if you had never seen any of her videos of volume then you'd have been in love with this quirked up american girl no yeah i know grown men watch her and like the weirdest grown men